Welcome back everybody to part 5 of our Soon Tian campaign. I uh, want to give a sh special shout out to Sparta, Sp Sparta Kusaufstand Deutschland, uh, who left a comment on the first part. Uh, thanks for commenting and uh, I've been taking your advice into consideration. So we are going to be going for Tiangling this episode. Uh, and I hope you'll keep uh, watching the campaign. Alright, so this is immediately after we left off, so I do still need to end the turn. I hope I got your name right. I don't speak that much German. Spartacus, Spartacus Aufstand, Deutschland. Yes, Spartacus Aufstand, Deutschland. Yun Xiao signed a peace treaty with Kong Rong, Zheng Yan, and Yun Xiao are now at war with Gao Gan. Lu Dai is also at war with Gao Gan. This person's loyalty is as unshakable as a great oak. For them, loyalty is not a matter of shifting allegiance to whoever holds power, but a permanent oath to a single person, never to be broken under any consequences. Huang Gai is now more loyal. I don't think he. I think he already had the trait for loyal, but he's got an increased plus 20 satisfaction for 15 turns. Liu Yu is now recruitable. He's rank 4. Not bad, but we're okay for now. Oh, here's Liu Biao. He's heading down to Qingxia, I believe. We have the trade port leveled up here. With that garrison. Pure folly. Yeah, with that garrison and those towers, I don't think he can beat. I don't think he'll be able to take it. So we'll move Sunza down to defend our capital. We have a new reform. We'll go for garrison conscripts because we're still trying to get this replenishment. And then next we'll get this convict drafts. Lower our mustering turns. We'll have an increased plus two starting rank for peasant recruits. And we'll also get peasant raiders. Good against armor, light spear cavalry. So I'm guessing they have a pretty decent charge. All right, well. While Liu Biao is heading that way. Okay, here's where we can cross the river. We're replenishing by 12%. 12% out of a 240 unit. So that's about 29 mana turn. What do we have? Qingxia. Oh yeah, we can build. Yeah, we have enough money. We'll go ahead and upgrade the our capital. We'll end the turn. After this turn, we'll try it. We'll be moving towards Tiangling. Tolerance is the best we can offer. We'll see if he'll give us the city. If he does, then I might consider peace. No, he won't. So we'll reject that. You dare spurn us. He's not going to take territory from us and then get himself peace like that. That would be a shameful display. We must prepare strategies. My courage and loyalty lies with China. Can I actually cross this turn? Dry war. 
Yeah, okay, so we do have to wait two turns. Obey instinct. Um We'll move sons up back to the trade port for now. Let the horse peel with laughter. And we'll end the turn. So hopefully in two turns we'll be attacking Tianling. We can defeat Lu Biao there possibly. If he stays there. No, he left. There's Sai Mao fighting fighting Yun Yun Shu Yun Shu right yeah Yun Shu how did I forget his name Han Flu declared war on Yun Shao Lu Dai declared war on Han Fu Zhang Ying is also at war with Han Fu Kong Zhuo signed a peace treaty with Zhang Zhao. Traits gained. Sun Ren got, has gained the tr cheerful trait. Plus six resolve, so she's got extra. She's got more health, more authority. So I believe that gives more morale to your retinue. Plus five satisfaction if she is the prime minister, heir, or faction leader to our entire roster of generals. Well, not just generals, but our entire roster of characters. And she has plus 10 satisfaction as a result, just to her base satisfaction. Let's see our family tree. We have our other daughter that was born in the last part, Sun Yu Ying. I think that's right. I don't know. Sun Ren is seven. Sun Chen, Sun Chen is fourteen. So it won't be long before we can get him into one of our armies. I like that their portraits actually do change. I don't. I think I already said that, but I do appreciate that, like small little detail. Like she looked different before when she was younger. Okay, we finished our lumber yard. Whoa, what the hell? Zhang Zhang is recruitable? Okay, we're definitely recruiting her. What happened? Did she get kicked out of her faction or something? Did somebody betray her? Or did her faction get destroyed? We have no line of sight up here. We don't know any of the factions up here. At least I don't believe so. Like, we don't see Zhang Yan. Yeah, we don't see them. Or Zhang Zhang. Yeah, so I'm not sure what happened to her, but... I'm not gonna complain. We got Zhang Zhang in our army now. Or in our faction. Already saw these. Dong is upgraded. It'll increase by 30 income. Garrison will be bigger. Sure, we'll go for that. We need to improve our economy rapidly. Which reminds me, can we do an assignment? Yeah, we need this plus 75% income from commerce. With loyalty, deliver justice. Actually, let's see Zheng Sheng. She's level five. She's got her unique red sisters, her unique armor. Not a, a just a common horse. She has this herdsman, which gives her the wedge ability for her, her cavalry. Oh man. 
So you can only get spirit guards and uh, heavy spirit guards. You can't get her her axe unit with the bows. I forgot what they're called. Man, so she can't get like her faction unique wep her faction unique units. That kind of sucks. Her satisfaction is at five. Wow. Hot desires higher court position. Cost 800. This already gives her 8 satisfaction. Jeez. We'll promote her. Now she's at 20. I don't want to lose her. Yeah, it's talking about her low general satisfaction. Hopefully she won't leave. We need to get somebody in a in a higher court position that can increase the satisfaction for all our all our characters. Yun Shuo, Yun Shao requested Wang Guang join their war, so Wang Guang is now at war with Han Fu. Soon Ren got energetic and Sun Zog also got energetic, so they both have extra melee evasion, and they both do more damage. They also increased the campaign movement range of their armies. That's great. That'll be really efficient at moving around the campaign map. Xi Shang. Or no, is that Chi Shang? Chi Shang. No, that was Z Shang. It wasn't an X, it was a Z I. A Z H I. Xi Shang. He's not a legendary character, so I'm not really worried about getting him. Got the traitor. Ha Yi has moved his capital to Iron Mine in Runan. Kong Zhuo moved his capital to the large town in Runan. Maybe one of them took one of the territories from the other. Rouse the tiger of Jiangdong at There's Lu Biao. Which way is he headed? I'm guessing he's heading back towards Changsha. Damn, they upgraded the city to a but small China. city. Damn, so now we have to siege it out. And I forgot to put a fucking timer again. Sorry, I just had a timer. For honor. Continue siege. Did he recruit any more units? No, he's still got basically the same army. Move Sunza back down. We can't afford to get Zheng Zheng into an army. Can't afford anybody else really into an army. Our economy is not doing so great. making a lot of money from commerce here 546 but it's just not enough we'll end the turn I think if we take this if we take Ting oh he's going for Badong Tiangling I think if we take Tiangling we'll be able to get uh, the next rank which I believe is second marquee they won't be able to employ a spy. Cao Cao left the coalition of Wen Kuang. Liu Biao signed a peace treaty with Yun Shu. Damn it. And so Yun Shu is also at peace with Sai Mao now. Zhang Yan joined the coalition of Zhang Yang. Zhang Yan requested Wen Kuang join the war. They're now both at war with the... And so is Yun Shao. 
All three of them at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Kong Zhuo declared war on the Han Empire. And on Dong Zhuo. Liu Dai requested Zhang Yan join their war. Doesn't look like it happened. You host two friends for dinner. Between meals engaged and lively. I'm not going to read this. We've had this pop up like two or three times already. Sun Tian is loyal, so that's the only thing you can do. So his relationship with his wife will improve. Hopefully that means more kids. Cheng Sha has upgraded to a large town. Sha Shu. Lo Luo Yang. Lumber Yard. Don't have to worry about that. That's oh, far up in the north. Or at least far from us. Spreading the word of our cause. Damn it. He's going for butt dong. Not today. And with the, his two generals, he'll probably be able to take it. And the garrison's not going to be powerful enough to stop him. Yeah, they're not even fully replenished. Nurture passion. Okay, they'll be tired. No recruitment or replenishment. And they can't initiate battles. That's fine. Hopefully we can get them. Closer to the city at least. Damn, I'm not sure what to do. Should I abandon the siege? I refuse. I mean, with that army, he can't really stop our cavalry. We could just crush him with the cavalry. He's only got what? One spear unit? No, two. Infantry of Jing. To duty. No, we'll keep the siege going. A temporary respite. Accept and lick your wounds. You fool. You'll get nothing from us but death. This is an insult. Oh, he actually attacked us. Okay, we'll fight this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's another forested map. Damn. I want to actually be able to see what's going on. As I'm sure you guys do, too. They're like four of you watching this <laughs> but that's okay I appreciate anybody that does take the time to watch this and hopefully you watch the whole thing I do need the watch time this feels like it's taking forever to load Got it on my SSD. Apparently there was an update today. I'm not sure what what it affected. If you guys know, let me know down below. Or I may look it up myself. Put our saber militia in the front. A cavalry both on the sides. Group one, group two, Take heed, warriors. our generals will be group three, alright they're tired aren't they, yeah, March quickly. move up there don't run, move over here don't run, 
ready. Hidden units, an ambush. March. Don't run. Move out quickly. Our generals can run. They're already very tired. Quick march. I guess you can't run. Just walk or trot your horses over there. Your best is not good enough. Shut up and die. Shut up and die. Sunsaw. You challenged a little conqueror. Guys, still tired? Very tired. Shit. Oh, what the hell? How did they get his health down so low? General is engaged in a duel. Cavalry, to attention. Swordsman ready. To baton. Show no mercy. Ready. Blazing saddles. Might have been more efficient if we had just. Do not be late. Move, move. Damn it, they're fucking shield. There's G militia right there. Cavalry, attend! Our men are spotted. Charge their archers, get rid of them. Damn it, I was trying to get you out of there. I charged you guys too far away. Charge them on the side. Sons, that you get back over here. Liu Biao does not want to duel. Charge them. Go on, keep up. I know you can do it. Is that your best? Come on, try harder. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, cavalry, get them. Look, the enemy run. Or charge these other archers. Go after those archers. Come on, mounted lancer militia, get them. Get in front of them, distract them. Need some help. Oh, we didn't get to see him kill him. Charge them. Charge their axe band. Come on, cavalry. You're killing them too slow. Move back and get ready to charge. You also move back. Get ready for another charge. Come on, Sunza. Get in there. You also have the flames of the phoenix. Xiao Hua Yun, you need to kill Liu Biao. Hopefully they can get that charge in before that Xi militia gets in there. No, infantry of Jing. That's what they are. Alright, get out of there. You charge them from behind. You get back over here. You attack them from the side. Alright, they're gone. Can we duel him? No, he doesn't want to duel. Turn around and fight them. Fight that infantry of Jing. Make 
We're going after Lu Biao, not letting him escape. Hopefully we can capture him. We can get a lot of money for his ransom. Or I'm assuming so. I never captured a faction leader. At least not in this game. To that, they still got 65 units in that. You go after that, they still got 25. That's not worth chasing. That isn't either. Speed it up. Damn, I can't believe we almost lost Sun's all right there. Took so much damage from those archers. Probably add damn 508 kills 541, 154, 190. Honestly, wasn't paying attention, paying that much attention to the cavalry, what they were doing, or which ones were doing what. These guys must have definitely been the ones on the left flank killing all those archers. Examine the details of each building in the building browser. This definitely feels like it's loading slower. Oh. Order has been restored. Uh, Seven hundred seventy-two gold. Twenty-two heroism. We'll just replenish. Duty awaits. Renewal warms my spirit. Their army is still here. Huangzi. Xiaolong. Whoa. Yun Xiao has in the military alliance with Wen Kuang. It's a Wen Kuang. Coalition with Wen Kuang left by Coalition with Yun Xiao left by Lu Dai, Zhang Yang, and Wen Kuang. Zhang Yang also left the coalition. Okay, so the alliance is Yun Xiao, Wen Kuang, Zhang Yang. So Yun Xiao, Wang Kuang, and Zhang Yang are in alliance now. And also Lu Dai. This is a really shitty way to show what's happening. I didn't just put them all right here as allies. So it's Yun Xiao, Wang Kuang, Lu Dai, and Zhang Yang in an alliance now. Yun Xiao is at peace with the with Huang Xiao of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Zhen Zhen and Ma Chu. Neither of them is the legendary lord. Buildings. Okay, so our lumberyard has upgraded again. Spear warriors. Two spear warriors. So these are the new units. Is she infantry captain, two G militia, and a an archer militia. You're still in March. Okay, normal. Resume standard stance. I'm pretty sure Lu Biao did not die because it didn't. It doesn't say it. Yeah, it's still his faction. Damn it, Zhang Zhang is still low. 
satisfaction 20 well, that's her age our satisfaction is three we just promoted you Maybe we got her into an army. Truth is an unquenchable flame. We can't afford her 725 gold a turn. For honor to arms. Oh yeah, there are no officers. That's the only way you can demand surrender. I'm just gonna delegate this. It's 464 men, and look, it won't last long. We just had a battle. Heaven smiles upon us. Oh, we lost. Yeah, because we lost a lot more in those damn towers. We must show how to rule justly. Reach Fink. The time to prove yourself has come. From humble beginnings you have risen up, seeking every opportunity to seize glory. Continue on this path to bring peace to the land and the tyranny and prove yourself worthy. Reach rank faction of... No, reach faction rank of Duke. We'll get 2,000 gold. Your power increases. Second marquee. You have established yourself as a worthy power. Bold actions have led to bold results. Your strength grows. With your rising power comes the title of Second Marquis. Yet the road between here and Final Victory is long. You must continue leading the charge. Our heroism has increased. This position is an increase in responsibility and privilege. I am certain that in time the world will know my name. You have earned the right to claim a higher title and rank, rank for, for yourself. yourself. Giving you more power and influence to wield. I did they say the announcer is not as annoying in this game as the other ones? We got a red thoroughbred. We reread that. We have a chancellor and administrator position. But here's where we're gonna call it. We also can get get a spy now. So next turn we'll send somebody to be a spy. And possibly we will get Zheng Zhang into an army because we don't want to lose her before the turns over. This part's over. We will upgrade Sun Tzu plus a instinct, passion, unlock assignment, conscription plus twenty five percent melee damage for all shock cavalry plus a expertise plus ten percent melee armor piercing damage to his the entire army. And it gives him a higher melee attack rate, plus 40%. It's no joke. Or mobility, plus 10 morale when attacking. When he is commanding, so that it's only... He is commanding, though. Plus 25% battle running speed for his own retinue. Might be useful. And plus 8 authority, because they are kind of slow on their horses. The forest scent is refreshing. Blood, bloody fury. Yeah, we're gonna go for this. Increase that melee damage for all of our shock cavalry and give him more damage to, him, to himself. Exceptional heirloom spear. Nice. And with that, guys, I'm gonna be calling this, calling an end to this part. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are doing pretty well, I think. We got Bandong. We beat defeated Lu Biao again. We got Tian Ling back. We're second marquee. We got Zhang Sheng. Arguably one of the best fighters in the game. Let's just hope we can keep her happy. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the part, please hit the like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be continuing. Hopefully we'll I'll record two more parts this week. Hopefully. If not, at least one more part. If you didn't like the video, click the dislike. Uh, I had somebody dislike the first part I think but they didn't leave a comment so if you do dislike it at least please also leave a comment just tell me why you didn't like it I'll accept a one word thing like voice too long air I don't know anything pretty much 
But yeah, leave a comment whether you like it or dislike it really helps me out. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Shishi need the shokan.